run over, do it. <laughs> I became a Met Police officer in 1977. Back in the 1970s, I also became aware that we were losing our elm trees, and somebody told me about Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, Pesticides and the Loss of Insects and Birds. That's when I started paying attention. And I then linked up with, joined up with uh, people like Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth, Woodland Trust, Wildlife Trusts, RSPB, all that. I'm one of those people who has been banging on about things for decades. I've done all the right things. I've lobbied MPs. I've, I've done all the petitions and the marches. I, I must have planted thousands of trees in my time. So the reason I'm a rebel now is because we have tried everything else and everything just kept getting worse. And the good thing about the XR actually won't work, there's so much. The main thing is that back in April, when we took to the streets, it pushed things on significantly. I know directly from MPs like Caroline Lucas and some others that that changed things in Parliament. We got the declaration of a climate and environmental emergency as a result of our actions in April. Thank you. Uh, a few other observations while I've still got the time. There's a lot of talk about the climate emergency. I keep saying to people, it's not just that, it's a huge environmental emergency. And, and those of you who are here and are paying attention, you know the scale of things, you know the scale of what's needed and the urgency. And uh, you've, well, some people might have been surprised that there are ex-police officers involved in this. It shouldn't be so surprising, because a big part of the job is some public protection and looking after everybody, isn't it? I'm still doing that. Yeah. Another big part of the job is looking at evidence and acting accordingly. I'm doing that. <laughs> XR are right. We need the government to tell the truth and to act accordingly. The problem is not getting any smaller. It's not getting any less expensive to deal with. It's happening now, people are dying. You know the horrors of this as well as I do. For a long time I've been saying to people, even if you're not doing the sort of things we're doing, there's a couple of things you can do. The first is, best of the people in power. They work for us. They're supposed to, what they seem to be doing is working for people like the oil lobby. Yeah. So it's dead easy now, it's easier than when I used to write to MPs, you can mail them. And open, open letters are really useful too. The other thing I've been saying to people is do what you can from the ground up. For me that's been a lot of, sort of planting trees on nature reserves and so on, guerrilla gardening. If you can, um, it's things like grow your own food. I'm also dead keen on things like Incredible Edible. I've been involved, been involved in community supported agriculture. I did about half a dozen other jobs before I joined the police. There's a lot to do. Uh, thank you very much everybody for coming out. Um, I've been ready to be arrested since XR started. It hasn't happened yet, it's down to sometime. I've come close a lot. Um, Sorry it's come to this. It should not have come to this. I know that's a point that a lot of people are making, but what else do we do? Thank you.